Hey everybody, Charlie here with a Let's Play, which I know is like an abnormal style of content for me that I will probably eventually unlist, like I have with several other uh, Let's Play videos I've done over time, because I don't really like non-editorial or like video essay content clogging up my YouTube page, my main upload page. Uh, so yeah, if this video does get unlisted though, like you can just check this this bit right here. I think there's something popping up, right? That's the right corner. Like it's a, it's a playlist of the Let's Plays I've done over the years, which is only like five videos, but still, if you want to see me playing Bone Lab or Elden Ring or Bone Works, I think that's really it. Uh, if you ever want to see these these uh, Let's Play videos that you maybe can't find from the olden days, then just check this playlist right here. Anyway, I have recently gotten into Warhammer for like the first time ever, really. Uh, except for when I originally played the game I'm gonna be playing today, Dawn of War, when I was like 9 or 10, when it came out in 2004. Recently, I discovered that Dawn of War had three, three massive fucking expansions, like post-release over the course of like multiple years. Uh, one in which you could play as the goddamn Necrons, which I'm super fucking into because Necrons are my favorite so far in my like couple of weeks that I've been into Warhammer. Even more recently, I discovered that there was a mod for Dawn of War, which is called the Unification Mod, that adds something like fucking 17 or 19 extra playable races on top of the ones added in the expansions, which is sick as fuck. It is a massive, massive motherfucking mod that I just finished installing. I made sure it works, and I thought to myself, you know, why don't we experience it together? All right, here we are. I, I booted it up for one second to just do some like OBS audio tests. So we got a Necron dude chilling in the main menu. This dude looks badass as fuck. This guy was not in the base game, that much I know. Because I did play a little bit of Dawn of War, you know, the expansions, the actual official expansions by Relic, uh, a little bit before I, I downloaded this mod. Uh, and this motherfucker was not there. He he kind of looks like, I don't think he is, but he kind of looks like Trazen, um, who is featured in this book, by the way, uh, called The Infinite and the Divine, which I cannot recommend more highly. It is so much fucking fun. It's not like... I don't know, I get the vibe that a lot of, like, Warhammer lit is, like, just masturbatory bolter porn, like, Fifty Shades of Grey, but if they swapped out the sex words with, like, guns. But, yeah, it's, like, somebody described this book to me as, like, it was on Reddit or something, I read a comment that, like, grabbed my eye, and it was, like, it's, like, Indiana Jones and Lethal Weapon and Game of Thrones, but with two old-ass robots. Elderly men, basically. Um, and that is exactly what it is. It's fucking great. I want to jump into the army painter real quick so we can look at these weird ass characters and this is my boy Trezen look at him look at how good he looks he got his cape his flowing metal cape his hood he looks so sick so wow god damn so in the base game you could only when when painting your army models which is like you know a feature that this game has it like emulates what you do with your warhammer figurines you paint them however you want and you can go through and you can choose the color of your army and stuff like that. Really fun stuff. In the base game, you could only really, like, test your army colors on, like, two models. Which is, I think, this Necron Lord, or maybe a... No, probably a, a base. Base Necron War here. There we go. Yeah, yeah, you can only test it on, like, this guy. And maybe a Tomb Spider. Oh my god, they got the Canoptic Spiders as well! This is like the only faction I know shit about, by the way, so this is gonna be a video that is almost entirely man who does not know Warhammer looking at things that he does not understand. <laughs> okay, let's look through and just see what these fucking units are, dude. Oh my god, there's so many. There's so many. Look at the classic little builder scarabs. I love how you can- it's so cool that you can look at like multiple different types of models as opposed to just the two in the base game. These things are actually surprisingly cute. I'm digging this. But what new? units do we have? I mean, this is like, this is like double or triple the amount of Necron units in the base game. That's fucking insane. Lich Guard, oh my god. Holy hell. These models, these look like, these look like better than the base game. I mean, it is a 20 year old game, like I'm sure there are many talented modelers out there, modders, that are throwing these things together, so. I don't doubt that they could, like, take it up a notch, but, man, these- I'm just, like, very impressed by the quality of these models. Death marks, they're snipers. I only know Necron units because, again, this book described a lot of them. 
and I just had to keep up because they were just like naming shit. Like, uh, okay, they're called Death Marks, so they're they're they have, they have snipers. Oh, okay, they're probably the snipers. Destroyers, hell yeah! Mounted crazy ass metal robots of death. Shards. They got the shards of the Catan or the Satan. I do not know how to pronounce that shit. If you're into Warhammer. I bet this video is gonna be unbearable, so I, I I apologize in advance. Shard of the fucking Void Dragon, God, damn. Okay, what else? What else? Annihilation barges. Oh my God, dude, these things look so good. I love how they got the little dudes mounted. They're playing with their orbs. They're they're consulting and rubbing their orbs as a Necron do. Doom Scythe. Oh oh, look at the little dude. Look at the little dude. He's rubbing his little hands together. He's so evil. I love it. This this is a cool ass looking Doom Scythe. And I bet they just got like the actual models and modeled these things off of the models. The miniatures. Oh my god. And he's he's in his own fucking barge. Fury and Eternals. I don't know who these guys are. But they're holding a big ass gun, and that's all I really need to know. Man, Necron's got like a lot of love here. A lot of fucking love, which I very much appreciate. They are my go-to. Oh, oh, I just love the Xenos races, man. I know that, like, the Terran, like, human races, Space Marines, the Imperial Guard, all that shit, they're kind of the focus of the universe. A lot of the literature is, and, and the models and the factions and stuff are, are, are subsects of Terran human factions, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but the Xeno stuff is, is my favorite, man. I'm, I'm also, I, after Infinite and the Divine, I'm, I'm reading this orc book uh, starring the orcs and Adeptus Mechanicus called Brutal Cunning by Mike Brooks, and it's very interesting so far. I'm only like 40 pages in, but it's cool. But let's look at some other races, because holy fucking shit. Unification adds quite a few more. Quite a few more. This is like, this is like triple... This is like more than triple the base game's factions. Where do we even start? Okay, let's just start with Dark Angels. Again, oh, uh, what the fuck? I don't know what I'm walking into here. This, this is a Dr. Octopus drill hands, motherfucker. Let's see what else they got. Okay, okay, some Terrans. I, maybe not, I don't really know. But, ooh, thick ass Space Marines with a big ass nose. They're all muzzled up like an angry dog. That's fucking scary. Chief Librarian. I ain't going to that library. Tech Marine, holy shit. Oh, wow. Coming at you with the low claws. This is the this is the low claws faction. The Dark Angels, coming with the claws. Company Master, classic chain sword. I like the little helmet. That's, that's a pretty cool little helmet. You could poke somebody with that. Deathwing Champion, I like their, their masks. They're, they're, they're creepy, they're, they look like they look like angry cows. Usually I'm not afraid of cows. Cows are cute, but these are not not cute looking cow guys. That's for fucking damn sure. Lion L. Johnson. <laughs> Lion L. Johnson. That's a sick name. I don't want to fuck with that guy. This is like weird prog rock. Like experimental prog rock shit. This is <laughs> this is definitely modded music too. Someone just burping into the microphone, pushing your enemies into a landfill with this thing. I guess digging it. Land speeders, kind of standard Terran Space Marine tech. I assume there's going to be a lot of kind of Space Marine sub factions here. Thunderhawk gunship. Damn, dude, these things look good. Look at that. These little rotating pieces. All the blinking lights. All the Man, this is... <laughs> uh, the little lady on the side. The texturing here is, like, fucking immaculate. Really incredible stuff. Apothecary. Doesn't seem to be doing his job quite so well. But, I guess everybody's job in the Warhammer universe is to kill, so he's probably doing fine. Next race, let's try Chaos Demons. Oh my god, it's like the, the people that work for Nurgle and Slanesh and shit. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? None of the other ones made noise like that. I was I was not really uh, prepared. 
I might have to give this faction a try. This seems like a lot of fun. I love me some goopy, spooky demons. And this is that to a T. Oh my god. Looks like a fucking mimic from Prey. But <laughs> way scarier. Look at these models, man. The writhing tongues. All this detail. These fucking creepy ass something or others coming out of his back. Greater Brass Scorpion. Holy shit. Look at the detail! Oh my god! This is this is one of the most impressive mods that I have seen in my life. That is for damn sure. Lord of Skulls. Is he just like injecting blood into his ass? He's got a big axe. He's got a gun arm. With a little skull inside of it. Oh. I love I I'm being new to Warhammer. This is all like this is all fresh. But I just love I just love how over the top this shit is. This is like the most ridiculous universe. Skulls everywhere, skulls on his skulls. There are, right here, there are five skulls in this like two inch radius. And then there's a skull inside of his arm which has more skulls on it. There are, oh my god. I, the more I look at it, the more skulls I see. Every millisecond, I, my brain is picking up more and more skulls. <laughs> is there a skull in his mouth? Not that I can see, but I bet there probably is. Slaughter Fiend. Holy shit. Okay, well, I'm gonna try this faction out. The giant saw blades, this is so intense. He's got little little demons mounted on his back. His latest prey, I can only assume. Okay, well, let's turn these guys pink real quick. I think that's that's a little more, a little more friendly. Makes them a little less scary. There you go, there you go. I can accept that a little more. Let's try, let's see the Emperor's children. Yeah, we're good. We don't need to change that pink thing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> These guys are naturally pink. I was it, was it was foreshadowing. This very friendly pink with this giant <laughs> bazooka. Again, with some kind of skull on the front. Mm. Oh, is he just like blasting like throat singing out of his weird speakers that he's got attached to his bag? Uh, that's intimidating. I, I will fully admit that. Sisters of Slanesh. Oh, that's fucking cool. Oh, that's cool as hell. Female Space Marine. Goth GF look. Digging it. Oh, man. Another apothecary covered in blood. Is that is that thing on his back for for surgery or something of the like? Oh, he's got a, he's got a he has a rainbow laser sword digging it it makes a chainsaw noise greater demonette what <laughs> something about this feels just a, a little out of place so this is like the bdsm sex cult of the space marines sex marines why don't we have any like hot dudes like <laughs> we got big titty a sexy monster and then we got lucius over here lucius is not looking so hot sonic predator Okay, literally, they have, like, speakers. It's like the Doof Warrior, but as a whole faction from, from fucking Fury Road. You know what? Let's see, like, what they added to some of the, the base factions. Imperial Guard. Did they add, like... Yeah, they definitely added a whole bunch of shit. Oh, my God. I haven't played much of Imperial Guard. I do not think they had Ogryn, though. Oh, my God. Look at that. I only know these dudes because of uh, Dark Tide, which I've played a couple hours of. Um... Which is a lot of fun so far. I love how the Warhammer universe is like so dark and gritty and intense, but they also just love making fun of British accents. <laughs> Reading this, this this orc book, it's just like all of it is is written with like this this extremely exaggerated like Cockney accent. <laughs> Battle tanks. I'm not gonna protect you when you're going up against that fucking giant scorpion. I'm betting, but it's all it's all good. It's cool. You do what you can. Yeah, this is like the faction of like. We're trying. Bunch of normal ass dudes desperately sitting in things like this, fighting monsters from the darkest reaches of interdimensional hell. Like, is is the tank is that tank really gonna do much? Maybe if you throw ten thousand in the front lines, maybe it will. Testudo APC. They got APCs. You're fighting giant metal scorpions, bro. <laughs> It's just one big ass missile. It's cool though. This is all like again, just wonderfully modeled, wonderfully put together. Looks like it could be right out of the base game. 
Look at these little guys. That's something I love about this game. And I don't know if this this could be like a, a base game model. I'm not really even sure. I can't tell at this point. But like something I love about this game is just the like look at these dudes. They look like toys. Like the, they they look like toy soldiers. Like the the space marines. Where are they? Look at them. Like they just like they're they're, they're thin thighs and their giant calves and their big kind of like stumpy arms their big chests like they just look like old miniatures i love how they didn't like try to go and of course this came out in 2004 so they didn't have like the resources and, and the technology to make these super hyper realistic like look at how the new space marine game looks like sure sure part of that is like how uh, the look of the Space Marines has evolved over the last 20 years, but a big other part of it is like, like just the technology allows for such incredible graphics these days. But I really like the stylistic choice of making these guys kind of look chunky and like like little like little toys. I love the way this game looks. I think it has aged, and of course, again, the Unification mod has given this a fresh coat of paint, like a motherfucker. But even looking back at the base game, I just really like how, how it looks. And I think it's aged because of the kind of stylistic flair I think this game has aged really, really well. Adeptus Mechanicus. The priesthood of Mahais is paramount importance. I didn't understand a word you just said, but I agree. Sort of a smaller faction than the other ones. Knowledge is the providence of the machine. <laughs> They're having fun doing these voices, man. Skull Swarm. It's literally, it's literally just a bunch of skulls. They're floating. They're going to come get you. They're gonna come at you. I love how one's got a big ass candle on his head. One of them's got, he's like printing something out of his mouth. This is, this is beautiful. This is ridiculous. This is so absurd. All right, Paladin. Holy shit. Holy fuck. That's a big ass boy. God damn, this is just like roaring in my headphones. I, yeah, yeah I get it. He's, he's very powerful. It's a powerful machine. Optimal performance is rewarded with modification. <laughs> That's just a guy sitting at his computer doing these lines. I love it, man! This is great. He's got a pie symbol on him. The Mechanicus are really an interesting faction. I don't know very much about them, but I'm, I'm reasonably sure they make the guns for the Imperium. And they worship, uh, I mean, I'm learning a little bit about them in this book right now. They worship the Omnissiah. They love their technology. They love it more than their flesh, clearly. This guy looks exactly like a fucking Borg. Miners have prepared my way. The Borgs, but more death metal-y. That is so badass. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, do it. He's like, he's in the pit right now. He's, I just put some Lamb of God behind this dude. He is in the pit. Oh, it's a girl. This girl's in the pit, man. I love how these, this, each faction kind of has, like, Oh, why is he? He's he's far away. Oh, whoa! Hey, no, here he is. Oh my god. Spider with tread legs. That is... That's very cool. I might have to give the Adeptus Mechanicus a try as well. Little grabby hands? He's gonna grab you with those little grabby hands. Get him with the clamps! I love his little face. His little face on the screen. I just want to put like a VTuber face there. Let's see. Let's see what else we got. Let's move on. Tau Empire. I want to see how they expanded the Tau. Oh my god, that's... That is sick. The Tau are really interesting, just because they, like... They're a pretty different... Holy shit! A dinosaur riding another dinosaur! Dinosaur is cubed! Look at that dude, he's got spittle dripping from his mouth! Look at these fools. Oh, are these the ones... I don't know, I... For... I, I thought... Yeah, I thought like uh, the Tau like shopped out their their melee units to like a different race. That's probably these weird little dudes. The Crute, I think, is what they're called. They look like something out of the Jack games. I don't know why that comes to mind. The Tau are interesting because they just look like they look like Gundam Gundam things. They have a very different aesthetic than a lot of the other grim, dark, jagged, skull-based you know races. Greater Narlock. Oh my God. That is indeed a greater Narlock. I, I, the screen can't even hold this Narlock. Oh, look at that little meat on all oh, in the Space Marine helmet on his side. That is cool as hell. Look at all the detail here, man. It, it is immaculate. As intimidating as he might be, looking him straight on the face here. He reminds me of the dinosaurs from Dinosaurs. It's very interesting that, that the Tau have like dinosaurs combined with Gundam. It's, it's, a, it's a strange combo. But I like it. Team a different color scheme. 
That's too red. That's very red. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Let's see what else. A Sun Shark Bomber. Oh, I already saw that. Although I really like that model. I love how smooth it is. It's just very, very pleasing to look at. Rotating bits in the back there, things on the sides, the wings. Look at how stubby these guys look. I love this fucking interesting, interesting aesthetic. They're stubby little legs, they're big ol' hoofs. They got hoofs. All right, let's see the salamanders. Another uh, space marine subsect, it looks like. They got sisters. They got pointy faces. Salamander-like faces, I see, I see. The black dragons. Oh, wait. Huh, his face changed. It's a mod, don't even worry, it's fine, whatever. It's a big boy, it's a big backpack for a big boy. Librarians again. Lots of, lots of kind of overlap here with, is that like the dude's real face or is that like a fake face that is in the shape of like a, a mask or that is a mask that is in the shape of a face? It, you, you, you know what I'm saying. Oh my God, straight up, straight up lizard head. Is he a, is he a lizard or again, is that a mask that just looks like a lizard? That is a very convincing lizard head. I'm guessing these guys, uh... <laughs> Maybe they're flame-based? Maybe that's kind of the motif that, that's going on here? Oh my god! It's a mech, but just like with a lizard face on it. <laughs> Why not? Who cares? Tushan. I know who that is. Ask me any trivia about Tushan and I'll answer it swiftly. Please, comment with questions about Tushan. So I want to check out, I think somebody that we skimmed over earlier, the Death Guard. The Smelly Faction, apparently. Damn, going to beat you with that long ass flat back sword. Two times the skulls of a normal space marine. 1.5 times the eyes. Man, these guys. The Scythe. I think I'm gonna have to give these guys a shot. Plague Marine. Are these guys like corrupted by chaos? Cause that's the vibe I'm getting. I'm getting a Nurgle vibe off these fools. Whoa, whoa. What are you getting from those tubes, buddy? In what direction are those tubes flowing? What? He's got big ol' hands. He's got one little horn. One little horn, that's, it's not gonna do much, but it is cute. I like this faction. It's like, it's like the Space Marines popped over to Halo and lost a fight with Flood. You gotta, you need to, somebody needs to do something about that hole. Whoa, you got a big ol' hole. Oh, oh, something, got something stuck in your throat there. Holy shit, this is, this is a very, very well done model. This whole faction is super impressive. The animation as well, it's so full of character, it's so ridiculous, so over the top, but so fitting. Just clear it out, clear it out, buddy. You you can, you almost got it, I think. Just counting, counting stuff, writing things down, jotting down notes. A fucking impaled ass skeleton on the front with his guts still hanging out, and this dude, <laughs> it's just like covered in flies. It must smell like shit. I, I bet the whole Warhammer universe just does not smell good. It just probably smells like, at, at bare minimum, it, it smells like sweat and tears and blood all the time. But these guys are probably like the top tier of an already smelly universe. Oh my God, look at this bad boy. <laughs> Did somebody record their dog for that? <laughs> Gene Stealer, he's gonna steal your jeans. I'm digging it. I feel like these guys could maybe use like a little bit of a texture, texture overhaul. Compared to some of the other races, the textures are a little barren here, but but let's see some of the other ones. <laughs> These look, these look like classic 2004 models, man. I, again, this is like emphasizing just the kind of miniature-like nature of the models. I love it. They're coming to get you. They're big heads. Their heads are so big. He's like a giant space dinosaur gorilla tank. Only in Warhammer can you have that combination of words. Carnifex. Holy shit. Are... Are the, the, was it the Zerg in uh, the, the, the fucking Blizzard game? I can't remember the fucking franchise right now. What the fuck is that franchise? Are they based off the Tyranids or are the Tyranids based off of them? I don't know which came first. I assume probably the Tyranids came first, but that is interesting. I'm, I'm just seeing a very 
similar, you know, kind of Zergy vibe. Holy shit, I dig that! Kind of like a AVP 1999 quality to these, these particular models. Just the fucking blade arms! You do not want one of these motherfuckers running towards you, much less 10,000 of them, which I assume is the more accurate number. Gargoyle. Literal gar- He's got a gun. He has a gun. What do dinosaurs need with guns when you got a mouth like that? What- what- <laughs> What you need a gun for? I guess- I guess you need some kind of ranged options as a- as a Warhammer faction, just generally speaking. Death Corps of Krieg. Okay. These guys look particularly fascist, and which is like- Says a lot in the Warhammer universe. In which humanity has basically just become ultra mega fascists. As far as you could possibly take fascism ideology, that's what the humans are at this point. It's just a horse. That's just a normal ass horse. There are still normal ass horses in the year 40,000? How the fuck. How the fuck did a horse survive? I. I don't need to be questioning that. Alright, I want to take a look at the Necrons just one last time before we move on to, like, playing a match, seeing how everything plays. By the way, I do suck at this game, so it's it's gonna be just like this has been. It's probably gonna be embarrassing. But let me just check them out one more time, end on the Necrons as we began on them, because I just love them. Oh my god! As much as I love my boy Trazen, I, 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 I think I might have to just, like, go for this dude whenever I play as Necron. This dude has four swords. Why do you need that many swords? They remodeled the fuck out of the Necrons here. Like, for real. These guys look so good. They looked good in the base game and they look, they just look so much better now. The Necrons as a whole, like just the whole faction, man. They got such a makeover. Hip, 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 that's fine. So I took a quick break, took a quick shower so I don't look so greasy. And now I'm just gonna go ahead, we're gonna play around. Which is gonna be a miserable failure, I'm guessing. So off screen, I've done like a couple of skirmishes just so I don't make like a complete embarrassment uh, out of this whole thing, out of this whole show. So um, I'm really hoping that that's all gonna pay off. Uh, I kinda know, I kinda understand how the unification version of the Necrons work at this point. There are so many motherfucking maps in this game. Battle Marches, Blood River, Bloody Hell, Dead Man's Crossing, Face Off, Fallen City, Fear. It's just called, it's just called Fear. I know people play Fata Morga a lot. I know that's kind of like go-to, pretty simple shape. All these fucking names, man. Is there like a place that's just nice? Is there a place in this universe that like has minimal rubble? Where like the litter has been swept up? I guess not. That's like... That's not really the appeal of the universe, right? That's like, the motto of the Warhammer universe is basically, everything sucks, have fun. Conquered lands, how about that? That sounds nice, I like that. There's a couple different lanes. Who am I gonna fight though? That's, that's the real question. Hmm, there's so many different options. Necrons versus Tyranids sounds pretty fun. Let's go with some, let's go with some green Tyranids. Fight against some green Tyranids, that sounds good to me. I chose standard difficulty against my better judgment. I was just gonna, I was gonna like, off screen, I was just gonna change it to easy and like, tell all y'all that I was doing like insane or something. But my ethics are too strong for that. Let's fucking do this, it's done loading. I don't have strong ethics, that's a lie. Okay, so, I can't be dilly-dallying because if I've learned anything from like, doing a couple of test recordings while trying to play this game. It's like, the AI, the AI is recording their gameplay and trying to make snappy commentary while doing so. They, they're here, they're just here to kill you. And they will do it if you give them even a moment's hesitation. So I got my guy, my cute little scarab. He's going off, he's doing his own thing, he's capturing a point. Very important in this game to capture points for some reason, I think. And I'm gonna go ahead and just place down a bunch of these fucking things. Um, because, uh, Necrons need these fucking things, I think. Important to have generators. Generators generate your power, which is what you need to build your stuff. Uh, I could build an obelisk over that thing, which makes your points more powerful, and capturing these things, I'm pretty sure, makes it so you can build, like, build, uh, units faster, which is really important for Necrons because they're slow as shit about everything. Look how, look how silly these little guys move. You'd think that being like hovering, 
By the way, why do they have legs? They hover. I just didn't even think about that. They're very cute though. I hope the sound isn't like overwhelmingly loud because it's like blasting. It's my head's gonna explode with how loud this shit is. Building two. I'm gonna build two little Necron squads down here. They're hardy guys, those Necron squads. Look at this, look at all this. Everybody's doing their thing. Everybody's trying their best. Teamwork makes the dream work and makes your enemies die faster. This is going well so far. Nobody has uh, run up on my shit and attacked my base in the first, like, what, two minutes? It's just like a positive sign, I think. Although I don't know how the Tyranids work, they might just come in a massive swarm in like five minutes. That's, that's kind of what I'm worried about. I know those fools like to swarm. And I'm gonna go ahead and build a summoning core, which is, I think, what you need to make your your pyramid here in the middle uh, more powerful, and so you can build more units out of that pyramid. Don't I have a second Necron squad building? Yes, I do, and they're almost done. Okay, so there's another point out here. Let's just send my guys to get this fourth point. Have them backed up by some Necron boys. Look at how cool these guys look. Just marching, doing their thing. And got their little buddies behind them. Only the scarabs can capture points when it comes to- What the fuck? Wait, what? No, get out of here. Get out of here, dinosaurs with guns. Look at them. <laughs> They're hopping along. What did y'all fuckers think you were gonna do? What do, you, what do you think you're gonna do? What do you think you're gonna do? You're gonna die horribly. That's all. Oh, all these, all these fuckers are advancing already. Look at them. Look at them. They're licking the point. Oh my god, they're having some pustule tube rise out of the point. Get the fuck out of here, bruh. Mm -mm. No, fuck off. <laughs> it's just, it, they just sound like dudes, which is kind of funny. They just sound like a, I'm killing these space reptiles. And they kind of just sound like me going Ugh! with an echo filter. That's cool though. Whoa, wait, these fuckers. No, uh-uh, 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 no, no. What are y'all trying to do here? These dudes, they really think they're gonna make some headway. Uh-uh, look at how tiny these guys are. Okay, but there were a lot of them though. <laughs> All right, get back to capturing this point. That, I really do not like I'm not even, I don't even have like trypophobia or whatever the fuck, but I, I'm uncomfortable looking at that thing. You know what, uh, let's get two squads doing their own thing. I got my summoning core all created, gonna level up my base Necron dudes and make some flayed ones and also just upgrade my pyramid. Flayed ones, I believe, are Necrons that have been f infected with uh, this thing called the flare virus. Or just the flare infection, which like just basically makes them go insane. Uh, and kill everything in sight. Look at them. Look at what look at what they're doing. They're already taking over shit. This is not good. This is not a good start. This is scary. Yeah, yeah get them. What? A little squad of like three of these dudes? Oh god, it's like a commander unit. Uh huh. That ain't good. Commander units are big meaty boys. Oh, he punched the shit out of my guy. I love how like y'all Necrons like y'all got guns. Use your guns. You're just smacking them with your guns like cavemen. Oh god, one of my dudes is flying. I guess I guess it seems to be sorta of working. Just group smack the fucking shit out these guys. There he goes. There he goes. Get him! Get him! He's almost fucking dead, right? I think. Maybe not so much. Okay. Let's get our dudes over here. Oh no. Oh no. I might have just summoned them to their instant demise. That's what the flayed ones can do. They can just get summoned right into a combat encounter. Holy shit. Oh no. Oh, this is... This is what we call bad news bears. My guys are doing some. My flares are cutting down these little fallout looking motherfuckers. Except okay, every one of my no, they're gonna die. That was a that was a bad call. I thought we were in a good place. We are infecting it. What the fuck? How'd you fucking guys get here? 
Oh no, didn't I tell you this is gonna be fucking embarrassing? Oh my god, they've almost taken out my summoning core entirely. Jesus Christ, holy hell, holy hell. Okay. Well, I'm learning about Tyranids very quickly. Y'all need to come back, y'all need to build another summoning core. We should have built some goddamn turrets to protect this goddamn base. I was too busy being too witty. Get him, Immortals. Got a squad of Immortals. I need to build up my forces bad. I need to come and summon my Necron Lord. Build this back up, please. Can you guys do anything? Oh my god, they're taking my dudes the fuck out like it's nothing. Oh god, man. Look at that. Look at this force. Do I have any remaining? Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy hell. We are about to die here, folks. <laughs> Oh god, I'm just I'm just panic building whatever I fucking can. Come on. I gotta fill out these squads in any possible way. Whatever I can do, man. Look at this. Look at them. Reducing me to nothing. Instantly. My heavy infantry over here. Making a little bit of headway. Defending my castle, my pyramid. It's not working though. It's not gonna work out. Good God. This is a disaster. I lost. What did I say? What did I say? If you try to do commentary while playing this game, you're just asking for trouble. I'm trying this one more time. I'm gonna get straight to building my goddamn I don't know what putting this point down does. I feel like it's very important because it's mapped to right click. Um, but whatever. Boom, boom, boom. Do it. We're just gonna go ahead and build up our forces very quickly because clearly the Tyranids are all about, sort of like the Imperial Guard, sort of about like just building up a giant force as quickly as possible and just storming you with numbers, which makes a lot of sense. And like Necrons are kind of like the opposite of that it feels, where like they're they're very much about building up slowly, pushing your way forward, teleporting to places when you can. But otherwise, they're 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 sort of a slow army to build. So let's see if we can not fuck this up miserably again. Got our first squad of Necron warriors. Let's just fill it out. Let's fill it out all the fucking way, because clearly we need all the numbers we can possibly get with these dudes. And I'm gonna summon my Necron Lord as soon as I possibly can. I'm gonna build an obelisk on this bad boy and turn it into a turret. So if these guys start storing up the sides like they did previously, I can have at least a little bit of coverage from that. Okay, construction completed. Let's get these guys down here, capture this point as quickly as possible and keep building up. Actually, before we get caught up and do another stuff, go ahead and get that summoning cord done as quickly as possible. Put a couple different dudes on it. Boom, boom. Fill out my little builder scarab quotient. They're coming down here to capture the point. We can get to get down to that one real quick because it gives us coverage. Uh, I think capturing a critical location means you can see what's going on. Oh wait, am I already hearing? I'm already hearing an attack. Bam! Look at these guys. They come so quick. They are already up your ass before you even know it. Get down there. Take those dudes out. Okay, summoning core is being built. Come on. Help with that, please. Level up my obelisk so I can actually turn it into a usable turret. What are you guys doing? What are you fucking guys doing? No, okay, yeah, yeah, take them on. Take them on. Come on, guys. Do the deed. Take these little bastards out. They ain't nothing to the power of the Necron Empire. These guys are bugs, that's all they are. And the only kind of fucking good bug is a dead bug. Appropriate reference to another piece of sci-fi fascist uh, fiction. All right, you little guys, come down here. After that point, I need to keep building my forces. I'm dilly-dallying on that. Necron Lord, Flayed Ones, another squad. And as soon as possible, I'm going to level up my monolith so I can summon some immortals, which are the dudes that 
didn't really help at all last time, but I think they're good. They're kind of medium heavy infantry sort of things. Give my guys some Goss Reapers. How about my main squad down here? Okay, and those guys have already captured that point, but let's get this critical location captured before we just... Okay, oh wait, these guys are just doing nothing. Obelisk. And I'm pretty sure Necrons can teleport to an Obelisk. Yeah. Look at this dude. My Necron Lord. He gets born out of the ground. I guess he was just kind of left there to rust, which is not cool, but it's it makes for a cool entrance at the very least. Um, so last time we got completely fucked by not having any turrets at all. So let's build some turrets outside of my base in case these fools just try to kill me instantly like they did last time. And so I got some flayed ones. They're ready to go. I'm just going to put them down here in the field and start building up their squad as well. Okay. Okay, we're getting serious with this. We're not making jokes anymore. This is not funny. This is goddamn war is what it is. And war is only funny in Pizza Tower, basically. Oh god, I hear the sound of crunching. What the hell was that sound? Oh no. Oh my god, look at them, look at them. What? Creeping around the side. Creeping around the side to come and get me. I thought, oh my god. Come on. Do your job, turret. Over here. Avoid these fools. Yes. Basic squad coming into existence. Oh, uh, teleport. Come on. Teleport, guys. Teleport back to the base. Alright. Strength in numbers. Yes, get them. Go at them. This is at least somewhat of an even fight at this point. More than it was last time, that's for sure. I got my leader in place. My structure is building up. I got two turrets firing at these fools. I think I'm scaring them off. Look at them. They're retreating. They're retreating. Get them. Get them. They're going away. They're running away. Oh, but they're also attacking literally everything I've got. Oh my god in heaven. Okay. It doesn't even matter what I summon right th at this point. I just need more dudes. And I need more turrets as well. For fucking sure. I'm s I've scared them off, though. I've at the very least scared them off from my base for 15 seconds, maybe? Look at them. Look at them. Oh my god. They're trying to take all my points. Uh-uh. Nuh-uh. You ain't gonna do that. I mean, you probably are gonna do that right now, but... I exploded one and it farted. Oh, that's the problem, man. Necrons are so slow. And I can't teleport there because I, I could teleport if I had a building there, which I did about a second ago. And I will in another second. But damn. Damn if these dudes aren't fast and deadly. Tyranids be scary, y'all. Fuck their shit up. Kill all these motherfuckers. Corner them. Cornered. Yes. Give them the business. Give them the business. Y'all ain't doing shit. If we can do anything to just whittle down their goddamn numbers. That's what's important. Okay, so I've leveled up. I want two squads of immortals. Let's recapture this point, and then capture the critical location. Boom, boom. Like that. And get that. Okay. Okay, we've made it further than like 15 seconds. Oh my god, but here they come again. Here they fucking come again. These dudes are relentless. God damn, look at this chaos. Oh. Oh. Genuinely, I thought I thought I was gonna be able to do something here, but these dudes They're not having it. They're not having that plan Well, actually, I think they might be having it. I'm just seeing a sea of green here, which is like 
what the Tyranids are basically at this point. Uh, so I can't really tell how good my guys are doing, but when I circle them, when I like click on them, there are, there are quite a few left standing. And we keep getting them to retreat. Look at that. They're running away. They seem scary, but if you stand your ground, if you stand your motherfucking ground, you know what, let's push forward. We can't be letting them sneak past us like that anymore. Like, we just can't be doing that. That's not good for nobody. We got a lot of dudes. I mean, not like as many as we need to take out these fucking Tyranids, but look at that. It's a good amount of soldiers. Get somebody to get back to the base. Build a greater summoning core. So I can summon even more dudes. And now we're taking this critical location, which is good. Everybody's standing their ground. Okay, this is less of a disaster than last time. We're, we're making some progress, and we're kind of in the middle of the map. If we can get that point, then then that's, that's pushing even further. This is just going to be a slow game, uh, uh, just a, a war of attrition. So I guess my Necron Lord bit it, because I can summon another one. Yeah, get these fuckers. Uh-uh, take out this brood lord. This dude thinks he's so hot. He thinks he's such hot shit, and they're coming from the back, though. They, they're, man, these dudes love flanking. Doesn't matter when you don't got the superior firepower, though. Flanking don't matter when you're gonna get fucked from any angle. Can I build an obelisk on that? No, I can't, because it's a critical location. Clears out fog of war. Yeah, sure, sure. From down here, let's just fuck it up from down here. Played ones. Okay, yeah, yeah. We can focus on that once we've taken these dudes out. If we do. If we even can. Okay. We got some good numbers. We got some good numbers here. But these dudes are scary. These dudes are scary as hell. I need to upgrade my forces in the middle of battle. I just gotta do it. Okay. Um, we need to level up that. We need to summon some heavy weaponry. We got a fucking tomb blade. How you guys doing? Doing all right. Scaring them off of yet again. And every time they attack, they lose numbers. I have a good amount of uh, firepower right now. And if if they come to my base again, you know, we are not at the base right now. They do like to flank. Okay, you know what? Let's just stay here for a little bit. Okay, you know what? No, no. We can't be. We can't be hesitating. We gotta take out all these dudes. Reclamation pool spawns rippers. I don't know what the fuck that means, but I don't want them spawning nobody. Gotta get my Tomb Blade in play. Look at how good it looks, though. Look at how good that Tomb Blade looks. He's just going. He's doing his thing. And we're doing our thing. Yes, okay. I don't have any scarabs to capture anything right now, though, come on. Get over here. Capture it, yes! Good shit! Shift focus! Keep pushing! Take out that hive spire! Oh, wait! Am I literally- I'm on the other side of the map right now! I'm on the- I'm on the other side of the map right now! That's how small this map is! I'm about to win this match! Holy shit! Do it! Do it! Take these ugly green motherfuckers to hell! Ooh! Just battered that dude. Okay. Um, Tomb Blade. Yes, Tomb Blade's doing good. Oh no. He just fucking threw my dude like Hulk Hogan. Come on, Tomb Blade. Get the Tomb Blade to focus fire on this Broodlord who's just tossing fools aside like it's nothing. Oh god, okay. Necron's warrior squad. They're losing focus. Uh, we might have to retreat. Maybe not. Maybe not. We're making progress, and we still got the whole squad of immortals. Oh, I think I lost a squad of Necrons. But I destroyed their main building, I think. They're just shooting me with water guns. What are you fuckers doing over here? Okay. This is going well. You know what, guys? Build another monolith over here real quick. In case we lose. 
We gotta kill everything. And you know what? We're doing a great job killing everything so far. I did not think I would make it this far. Look at all these dead ass Tyranids. Look at all these punk fucks. <laughs> well, they, they really, they, they did a number on my forces as a whole for sure. It took out a good number of us. I only got one flayed one left in that whole squad of like six or seven. But yeah, everybody shift your focus. This last spore chimney. Oh, we got a couple, a couple of stragglers. Oh my god, I think that might be it. I think we might have cleared out these Tyranids. What is that whoopee cushion ass sound effect? Let's check over here. Check out whatever they got on their relic. If they even grabbed that. They did. And we're gonna blow it the fuck up. <laughs> I won a match on standard, guys! Alright, that kind of sounds actually, like, sad to be so excited about that. But, I mean, I I'm excited about it. They're getting it. Yes. Yes! Hell yeah. Look at my little guys. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of my army. They all look so fashionable. So spooky. So menacing, so evil. Nobody can stand against the immortal empire. That's all she wrote.